Okay, so there are lots of different um, specialties that you can get into as a PA, and that is one of the reasons why I chose this profession because you can easily like have this lateral movement from specialty to specialty, especially if you've done something for a while and you're like, you know what, um, I've done you know like emergency medicine for five years. I'm a little burnt out. Like I want to get into something different, um, a little bit more uh, exciting or something like that like you you have the opportunity to go to like an ortho position or maybe you want to get um, into family medicine or internal medicine so it's all like there's there's that there's a space for you there and that is one of like the major reasons why I love the PA profession but within those specialties there are some like female male dominance um, and I had a question asked about being an OBGYN PA and uh, it had a little twist and so I wanted to answer that question for you guys today. So let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Adana, I do PA related video about like my life as a PA, okay? And so if you have any questions for me, I ask you guys to leave them in the comment section below, but I also ask you to take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Um, and also please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm, okay? So I had a question asked by one of my subscribers and uh, it was asked, can male PAs work in OBGYN? Now, if you don't know about OBGYN, maybe you're not a female, um, or maybe you're just really young, uh, but OBGYN stands for obstetrics and gynecology, so they deal with all things female, like uh, reproductive anatomy, right? Um, and just kind of all things female E in general. So if you are having like abnormal bleeding or pain in your vaginal cavity or pain while urinating or you know you're having a baby um, all those various different things uh, you find like a lump in your breast the OBGYNs are who you go see and as such there are OBGYN PAs and I would actually like to become one one day um, working my path to that but you know that that's a field in the PA career as well so this with my this person asked uh, you know let me see let me ask Let's see their name, Chen. Chen asked, can males become OBGYN PAs? Now, obviously, like in theory, yes. Like, you know, anybody can become an XYZ PA. Um, you can, and anybody can become a PA. If you do the work and you, you, you know, you study hard and you do all of the various different things that you need to do, you pass the exams, um, you can become a PA. And speaking of, actually, you guys, I do have two free pre-PA PA cat Q banks um, by Rosh Review to give away. So if you're interested in that and you're like gonna need to take the PA cat uh, very shortly, please go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to follow me on it. Instagram and on the PA and Rosh Review on Instagram at Rosh Review so that you can be entered into when I will be announcing the winner of the PA Cat Q Bank um, giveaway on Instagram. Okay, uh, usually I do it in my stories, but I might make a post as well, you guys, and put it also on the next upcoming video just so everybody is aware. Okay, so don't forget to do that. All right. Um, but that being said, you want to study and you do all the various different things that you need to do so that you can become a PA and then you have the choice on what specialty you want to go into. So yes, you the males can be an OBGYN PA. However, um, the OBGYN field just in general is now high, like it's, it's pretty dominated by females. Uh, there's over like 59% um, of the field is female physicians. That being said, obviously, um, they're the large majority of the field in terms of the PA specialty are females. Now, in, in general, the PA career is highly female dominant. However, that doesn't mean that there aren't a lot of male PAs coming in to the ranks. Now, I get it, I get the question. Um, so yes, again, you can become a, an OBGYN PA, but like for me, <laughs> I feel more comfortable with a female OBGYN. Now, I don't wanna dissuade anybody that, you know, if you have a heart for the OB field, if you have a heart for women, um, and you just so happen to be male, I don't wanna dissuade you and be like, oh no, you can't be an OBGYN PA, because that's not the case. 
but I just want to like forewarn you and uh, help you understand that yes you know you can become an OBGYN PA but there may be some hurdles that you may have to pass um, and just as long as you're prepared for that and ready for that and ready to also comply uh, when somebody might say you know what I don't want to see you I would feel more comfortable seeing a female PA then you should be fine um, there I had like two OB rotations when I was a student and I saw no OB male PAs. However, with that being said, every PA student that goes through PA school has to have an OB GYN, like a women's health rotation. So you do get that experience, you do get that knowledge and it's get, you get you know to see if this is something that you really wanna be in and really wanna do and if it is, then you build those bridges, you make those connections if your school allows you to find your own rotation sites, maybe look for male OBGYNs and ask them if they're willing to allow students to come in um, and do rotations because then that way at least you know that you have um, kind of like a base foundation. You, you already have that base there, but there's gonna be some legwork that you're gonna have to do yourself because the majority of people, I would say majority of females are a little bit more comfortable with female physicians being their OBGYNs as opposed to males. But again, that does not mean that it cannot be done, okay? Keep all the, the various different things that you have to be mindful of when dealing with patients that may not be comfortable with you, um, and then just keep it moving. All right, thank you so much, Chan, for that question. I think that it's a legit question. And guys, if you have any other questions about other specialties, um, drop those in the comment section below. I'll, I'll do some research. I'll you know give you my opinion on those and how to get into those specialties and, and what to do. I'm actually starting, um, like kind of a, trying to start a new series on my channel. Uh, it will likely uh, be videos on Tuesday where I will be going live. And you know I'm not gonna give too much away, but I'm gonna be going live I believe on every Tuesday, uh, maybe Wednesday, if I work on Tuesday, I'll still like try to put out just a general video, but um, go live on Wednesday with you guys if I'm working on Tuesdays just so that you guys can um, see this information that I think will be very beneficial to you. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I think I'm probably going to start it this coming week. So. If you're, you're interested, you better join me live. Um, and I may have some other pre-PA uh, QBanks to give away on that live session as well. So stay tuned. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please, if you have not already done so, like this video and hit that subscribe button because it really helps my YouTube algorithm out. Please follow me on Instagram at on the PA and on Instagram at Get That's the University. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow Rosh review on Instagram so you can be entered in to win the pre-PA, PA Cat Q Bank uh, that Ross Review has just um, kind of partnered with the exam masters to create. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.